Spawn was looking all over the place. Hmm. There's not much to find. Where the hell is he? This... this... imposter. He looked around the place. He looked all over. Nothing. That's when he thought he saw something in the distance. It looked like a vampire. No. His teeth were bare, but his uniform was something else. What? He looks like a Nazi. What's a Nazi vampire doing in a place like this? Spawn said while growling. The vampire Nazi charged at Spawn. Spawn managed to vanish from sight. The vampire cro cried out, Alucard! Where are you? I know you are here, you son of a bitch. Spawn grabbed the vampire. My name is not Alucard. It's Spawn. And who is Alucard? The vampire was trembling. Get away from me, you stink of demon. Get off me. Tell me about this. However, before he could say anything more, Spawn saw that the vampire was already taken out by surprise from underneath. And then there was nothing more than oozing blood and body parts all over the place. The vampire had been viscerated. Spawn clenched his fists. I know you're there. Show yourself, he growled. Alucard smile, showing his sharp teeth. Well, well, I like your cape, but it doesn't match more to mine. So, you're Spawn. And who the hell are you? What the fuck do you want? Spawn said. Temper, temper. And watch your tongue. Hold it well and not curse. Spawn instantly was in Alucard's face. Alucard smiled with delight and excitement. Ah, you do have speed. Quite like myself. Alucard said. Cereza watched with horror. Oh my goodness! My god! That spawn creature! <laughs> it was the violator's voice. Cereza looked around. That's when she let out a yelp. <gasps> ah! Cereza fell back. Cereza, dear. Uh, sorry, Master. I felt someone grab my bottom. Who's there? I know you're there. Oh, oh that dirty bastard, Spawn said. Come out of there! <laughs> oh, come on. I just wanted to have a little grab at that ass. Cereza let out <laughs> sound from her teeth. Why, you little... Your blood is defiling, congealed. You're, you're not even human. But yet you look human from your clown appearance. Yeah, that's right, baby. <laughs> I see we got to meet. Master, should I fight back? Cereza, my dear. I don't know who this man is, or where he came from. But Master, he's not even human. Yeah, that's right. Spawn admitted. Beware of him. He's bad news. If you don't mind, Master, I'll be the one to face him. You go after Mr. Spawn here. Hmm. A great suggestion, my dear Cereza. Watch yourself. I have a bad feeling about this one. 
The violator looked up. Oh, you know, you're better looking than Spawny here. You look really nice. Cereza charged, and those two took their battle somewhere else. Spawn turned his attention to Alucard, who did the same. Alucard could not help but grin. Well, my dear friend, it seems you already heard about me. Yes. So, you're the one that's responsible for all of this. On contraire, of course. You see, I'm one of the most strongest vampires you would ever meet. I have the advantage. I know you more than anybody else. I know you from back and forth. And I am not afraid of someone like you. Well, you should be afraid, Spawn said, because you really don't want me pissed off. Hmm, of course not. But I must say, I'm quite a hundred years old. As a vampire, they live longer. Spawn got angry. He then shot his guns at him multiple times. You bastard. You think I'm some sort of idiot? What kind of person do you think me for? He growled. Now, now, I'm not trying to assume that you are an idiot. What I am trying to assume is this. You, my friend, are quite an interesting type. And I myself, Alucard says, pulling out the guns, I'm ready to really crank things up. We'll see about that, Spawn said. All right, my friend, let's do it. And so, Demon Spawn versus vampires of all who feared him, human and vampire alike, Alucard. Meanwhile, Cereza was facing off against the Violator. The Violator was quite quick, but Cereza was quite strong. The Violator couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> You're good, baby. You really, really are good. I really like you. You really are quite a babe. Cut the crap already, you fucking bastard. I'm going to tear you apart. And by the time I'm through with you, huh, you are going to wish you never, ever dare fuck with me. Cereza Valentine. Cereza Valentine? <laughs> well, that's better than the Violator. The Violator then used his chains and pulled on Cereza. Cereza couldn't help but feel entwined in them as she screamed with pain. She felt the choking sensation as the Violator laughed at her misery as he came closer and closer. Cereza screamed, No! Get away from me, you bastard! Now, now, don't squirm. I just want to know how good these feel, the Violator said while snickering again. He reached his dirty hand over and groped her breasts, both of them. Cereza felt her whole body gone cold. Ah, not bad. I like a lady with big tits. I wonder how good they would feel against my own. I wonder how you'll feel without all those clothes on. Cereza panicked as the Violator tore 
parts of her clothes. Cereza screamed and screamed until all of a sudden when her head was tilted back, her back also arched and all of a sudden her eyes turned red. I warned you not to fuck with me, you demon. Cereza growled. The violator was scared. He backed away, but he couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> That's right. Come and get me, baby. Come on, you little bitch. You little hoe. You whore. He cried out. Get your fucking ass over here. And let me have another squeeze at you, little tits. The only thing you are going to be squeezing is your very own body once I'm done twisting it. Now you've got me mad, Cereza said. She charged at the violator and began beating at him and slamming him to the ground, letting him bleed, beating and beating, kicking and using all of her force. Even though the violator was taking the hits, his grin wasn't so much on his face. There was a great amount of terror. He really made a big, big mistake on trying to mess this girl up. She was not human at all. Her red eyes gleamed and she had the look on her face. She bared her sharp teeth as she let out her own giggle. <laughs> I told you, don't fuck with a vampire, you stupid, stupid clown. <laughs> you think you can go and hurt me? You don't think I've been through enough, now have you? You see, when I was human, I was known as one of the best policewomen in the world. And let's just say, when I met my master, he took me in. Even though I took the bullet right through my lungs, he saved me. I never felt so alive like this. And you, you made things worse for me, you cock-sucking bastard, Cereza said. You're nothing more than a demon gnat. And if I see you around here again, I'm going to cut you open. The violator laughed. His little hee <laughs> turned demonic. <laughs> you really think you're going to defeat me? Cereza realized that his clown appearance changed into a skeletal form. You see, my friend, you're right. I'm not exactly human. I am a demon from hell. I'll stay out of your way. I won't touch you anymore. But listen, you better get with the fucking program already. He said in that raspy, whispery voice. So that's what you look like. All bony and disgusting. You know, you better tell your vampire friends this if you ever work with them. I don't work with vampires, but I am aware they came here. And there's somebody else behind all of this, isn't there? You could say that. Now listen here. Don't ever touch my breasts or any parts of my body again. I'll tear you apart. I guess that's why they call you the violator. You violate anyone you touch or come across with. Even though her clothes were a bit shredded, still nothing was totally revealing. She decided to go see how her master was doing against Spawn. <laughs> <laughs>